I know you've had good news this week with uh, Laporte back in action playing football, but the, the injury to um, Kyle Walker, any further updates for us? The same the doctor said, I think so, is uh, out uh, uh, for a few weeks. So Nothing further as to whether he's ready for the World Cup, no. Too early to say. Yeah. Um, Erling Haaland, we, we always talk about him, but you can't ignore him. He's, he continues to, to score every game. I know we've touched on this before, but do you feel it's a, a shame that he won't be playing in the, in the World Cup? Are you happy that he's not playing in the World Cup? No, what will he be doing during that period? And of course not. I would love all the players can play and go into this amazing event for the fo as a football player. Next time, but he's young, have an opportunity in four years. Shame for the fans, though. Yeah, definitely. Good players. Uh, all the fans want to wanna, wanna see the best players as possible, and Erling is one of them. There's even been a petition this week to get him banned from football. Did you laugh about that? But Sorry? There's been a petition like this that. week. People were voting to get rid of him from the Premier League because it's just yeah, it's, like uh, no joke, yeah. Saying it's not fair to everybody else. He shouldn't be playing. Well, as a joke, it's good. Just, just on his, his, his time during that World Cup, are you, you planning to have him training or will he be taking a holidays? A few weeks, one or two week holidays and have to start again with the players to stay here. And as far as your performance on, on Wednesday was, was confirmed um, against Copenhagen, you described it as magnificent and a great work ethic. Is that work ethic the secret to success one, this season? One of them. Not only this one, but one of them, what they have done these years, is uh, the village, the, the capacity for every player do what they have to do in every single day. But I will tell you another secret. So the reason why is the quality they have. Otherwise, you cannot win. You can run a lot and fight a lot, but after you have the quality, you cannot have success neither. And can, can I just finally ask you about uh, Xavi Alonso? You yeah. Well, he was at uh, Bayern Munich well, when you were manager, of course. He's been appointed manager of Bayer Leverkusen. Are you pleased for him, and how do you feel he will do as a coach in general? A lot, a lot. He will do a... He was an exceptional holding midfielder, and when you are as an exceptional holding midfielder, you have to understand the game. And and he reads perfectly, and of course, he's a, a lovely, lovely person, lovely guy, so... And uh, it's an incredible opportunity. He he goes to Bundesliga like he knows quite well. In a team with a with a really good team, by Albert Cousin, prestigious, is still playing Champions League. And uh, uh, yeah, wish him the best. Let's with him, and hopefully he can do a good job. Pep, this will be the fifth home game this season in the Premier League um, for you. Already 20 goals in the previous four. By any normal standards, that isn't normal, is it? So. What continues to both impress you and, if you like, surprise you about this group of players? No, I said in the century we started so far, after make back-to-back -back Premier League, always you have a doubt about how we are going to react in terms of work ethic, in terms of what you have to do. And there's no complaints, but in the same time, it's just it's no time to reflect what we have done because every three days you have a game, in three days you go to Copenhagen again to make the last you know, a step to qualify, not to finish first in the group of stage, but to qualify. And now, just incredible. I have the ability that the forget immediately what we have done, being good or bad. And now we have a Southampton, like we know, since Ralph is the manager, how we struggle every season to, to, to try to control the games, to do good games. So it's not an exception. So. We are ready tomorrow to do a, a good game, a team like last season, except the com cup competition. We are not able to beat them in the Premier League. In the Premier League, like I said, it's two draws home and away against them last season. You've been very complimentary about the way his team has played against you in the past. What do you expect from them this weekend? Uh, the same, a brave team, so aggressive and kind of well organised. Uh, it doesn't matter what happened against who. They, they, they. They have a culture that I like a lot to do without the ball. And uh, yeah, but at the same time, we have to maintain this momentum and, and try to, to, to create a good, a good rhythm. And of course, you know, it's an important fixture for us so to make another three points.
And at this stage when the team is playing so well, you've spoken about games coming every three days. Does that make your job easier to maintain the players' focus? Yeah, yeah, yeah in that terms, yeah, for sure. We will have time to distract because it's yesterday regeneration. Today is pre-game. Pre, pre like nothing much we can do. And, and tomorrow early afternoon game and in three days after travel again and play another one. Yeah, that's right. It's just staff, backroom staff, players just focusing on like, what you have to do. Thank you. Um, Pep, just on Harlan, when he, when he scored his second goal the other night, you caught on camera pulling a funny face. Is that, is that an indication that even you can't quite believe how many goals he's scoring? It's no, it's not about that. It's not about that. Uh, when you arrive, we never speak how many goals you have to score. It's just the fact that it's a deflection. Is that it? Is the why the ball finish where he is? This is an incredible, you know, instinct. What I said many times. So what can I teach? Be here or there, one meter. Have an incredible sense to the strikers. Like the ball is going to finish. He goes one second before the ball will arrive. I'm there, and he has this this talent, this quality. It's not about the score goals. It's oh my god, all the time is the flexion across. Is there? Finish, where this type of players, yeah, that's why he's always surprised. How how can as a man I teach him? You know, when a shoot, a deflection, and the ball is going to finish here or here, it's impossible. It just completely instinct. It's natural, and I, I said many times recently, he did it in Norway, in Austria, in Germany. He's doing here. It's, you don't have to say anything. It just <laughs> move like you smell it. So that's why. So, thank you so much for he chose us, you know, to, to come here and the club, and Haldun, Ferran, Chiki, all the all the people involved to try to bring him here because we are fortunate to have this talent with us. And can I just ask you, um, Ilkay Gundogan's wife has uh, been vocal this week in uh, saying how bad the food is in Manchester. It's and right. She can't find anywhere to eat. <coughs> but you have a restaurant in Manchester, so how's that happen? What I'm disappointed still didn't prove my restaurant. That is uh, what annoying me. Gundo is not going to play one more minute than the rest of the season. <laughs> I'm going to invite her and uh, Gundo as well to, to go to the test. Of course, you're going to, to eat properly. Yeah, you keep bringing up this point about you not being able to teach him anything about this goal-scoring instinct, but do you think any part of his game has improved since he came to the club? No, he just sees, since uh, he's here, what we, what we want to do. The way we want to defend, the way we want to attack, the moment you have to do, in different games, where are the spaces. Yeah, of course, but not just me, with his mates. So at the end, the connection with Kevin, with Phil, with Riyad, with, uh, with Gundo, with Bernardo, with uh, Jack, with is play in the training session, the games, and play. And and Erling, like Julian, knows, okay, when Kevin has the ball, I know which type of passes I like. I go there. It's natural. It's not the table said, oh, you have to move right, left, in. No. Do you think there's any part of his game that he can improve on? And everyone. Can improve on? Everyone can improve. Every player can improve. And I think he's ready for that. Everyone knows I can do better. The only thing never, never stop until we die is improve. Our life will have the chance to always improve until we die. So, and he's not an exception. I bet uh, Mikel Antonio and Callum Wilson has been talking about uh, Haaland and saying that he will smash the Premier League record for number of goals in a season uh, that is, that is uh, 34 in, in 42 games. Uh, what would it mean for City to, to have that record? Would it mean anything? Is it something special? Well, it would be good, but records would be broken. So Callum and, and then Mikel, Antonio maybe knows it. I don't know it. So if, if of course, he continued this rhythm, yeah, we don't have to be a clever person to realize it, but who knows? So after, after Community Shield, the people have a lot of doubts. Now have a lot of certainties, and not even ones and the other ones. Either way, can nobody knows going to happen. It's just to tomorrow. You know, go there, 
try to win the game, help us to win the game with uh, his mates. This is what they have to do. And after the end of the season, we will see it. Okay, a score, how many goals, how many chances we had to win the titles. And this is the only thing. Alina said that the, the, the maybe the most special thing about you is that you tell him and the other players something one day, and the next day in the matches, exactly that happens. Sometimes it doesn't happen, <laughs> unfortunately. But what, what kind of things uh, uh, is he talking about then? What do you say? And, and uh, now. Uh, no, I see the opponent, what they do, offensive, defensively. I tell the players, I think it's going to happen. This sometimes doesn't happen. Tomorrow, I don't know, we're going to play four or five at the back. I don't know, we're going to play three minutes, three, two minutes, four in the back, and after the last ten minutes, five in the back. Copenhagen never played five in the back. The second half played five in the back. Our attack was differently, our defense has to be differently. So I try to figure out what's going to happen, but at the end, at the end, <laughs> players. This is a. The success we have is because we have good players, top players, top ones. And this is uh, the secret. And there is no more than that. What kind of development do you see in your team this season compared to the last one? Quite similar. Yeah. In general, we play really good football in all these years. Now we have. Uh, the sense that is right that you have a guy like in front that uh, can can in, in one moment can you know block, unlock the, the 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 game. But the way we're playing, it's normal. Like six seven years every year we we are a little bit better in in some terms. But it's just how many fixture eight nine games of the Premier League season. So important is the Premier League in 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 Champions League in that period we are in the, a dream position. So we have one game left to qualify. And after we have to fight, I think, against Befaoué to finish the first. Uh, it's important too. And in the Premier League, being there, we cannot forget one thing, ladies and gentlemen. There is one team that has been better than us. This is the reality. The reality is Arsenal has been better than us so far. We are not the league. Important is to be there and try to fight to, to arrive there. Um, is, it, is it fair to project that having Erling... Uh, would give you more power in the knockout matches to, to, because it's always fine margins, isn't it, details and having him to score half a chance could give you more leverage in those If matches. we play good and we produce a lot of balls in the box and we can, you know, be in there position, yeah, of course we have it, but who knows what's going to happen, knockout stages how is our performance we are not going to rely on it completely with him, otherwise we are not going to win. And after, of course, there are a thousand million decisions. We saw the last Champions League game, uh, uh, midweek, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, how many games the decisions, like it's out of control for the team, for the players, for the managers, this were decisive to win or lose the games. What you have to do? To play much, much better, even better, as much as possible, for these situations that make a lot of influence in the decisions, is irrelevant because your level is higher. And when this happens, always you can count on this. There is unpredictable, and especially in the stations, the decisions from many things, you are in and you are out. What you have to do is do it better to, even in that decision is against you, against you, you are good enough, so it doesn't matter what happened. You know, this is what you have to do. And it, is the media attention on Erling the, the biggest one? Of a player that you've managed since Messi, is it is it fair to say? Nothing is comparing. The, the people say that Erling with Leo. I think we don't help any other. So how many new Messi's appear in the in the world football since I just started? Ten, fifteen. Always you fail. <laughs> so Erling had to do his own career, his own job. So a different different player. Of course, the media, and uh, listen, how many press conferences have done here so far? Uh, 50 questions, 45 for Erling. Every, every press conference, for me, it's okay. When I said many times, the fortunate we are, do you know what it is? Is the guys who were here accepted perfectly. And that type of guys, he would not like it. Guys who win four Premier Leagues, fight for everything, just talk about Erling, Erling, Erling. They would not like it. And other, and other clubs and other people would not like it. Here, they are the light. Because we have Kevin that is an exceptional person, you know, and, and he's happy to have him and, and because both knows they, both they can be better, you know.
playing playing outside and the same for all of them. We don't have the incredible players like oh why the people talk about Jasin and many clubs happen. And this is what this is why is the joy to watch or to train this this type of person.